last 10 days um, to submit my thesis and I'm still in the office. It's 7.30 in the evening. I came in the morning at 8.30 and just grabbed this one from the office kitchen and will eat this for my dinner and continue writing my thesis. Hi, I have now just actually one more day left to submit my PhD thesis and I'm right now sitting in the office and it's about 7.30 on a Saturday um, evening here and this is my final weekend before the submission of my thesis so since I'm nearly done with this um, with, with my thesis writing I decided to reward myself and I ordered some Indian food that's how I'm rewarding myself and uh, I wanted to discuss about many things but I haven't been able to because I'm so busy writing my thesis and figuring out the next steps however I do have quite a few updates for everyone and I hope I will be resuming back on my channel um, to help you guys and to learn from you. So stay tuned. Hi, today I just want to share one big lesson that I learned during my PhD. And that lesson was to distinguish between what is in my control and what is not. So I have never shared this with anyone, but there was this one project that I was so keen on doing during my PhD, but due to pragmatic reasons, we had to close that project. And I spent almost one and a half year of my PhD working on that project. I wrote grants, like four grants, to uh, also run a preclinical project uh, in parallel uh, to that clinical project, but we never did that project. And um, this was something that taught me that I mean, we can try to try our best to achieve something, but if that doesn't happen as we planned, then we need to accept the, the, the other plan that's laid for us. So I, I truly believe that our actions are something that would determine our path, but I am someone who has also planned multiple times and my personal plans have failed, but in the end, whatever I have achieved is for my best so I, I learned during my PhD as well that um, many a times we will come across situations where things are not in our control like for instance there was this um, this happened actually multiple times that a participant was supposed to come for the session for which we had to do a lot of pre preparations and eventually the participant said they they didn't want to show up and then what do you do like you know for clinical projects of that sort, especially the study design that I had, we had set up at least um, eight hours to 12 hours of sessions per person. And imagine you did so much pre-preparation like booking the equipment, booking the MRI facility, booking the MTRA, and organizing several things, and not just booking one equipment, but booking several of those. And then also planning your meetings, you know, alongside and that does not work out but then those things are not in your hand right so this is something that i really learned during my phd um, i think i got to practice it a lot because there were many 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 failures compared to the success there has been a lot of success as well and i see myself very differently now as i would see maybe like four years ago but um the one big thing that i wanted to let you know is that um, this particular thing of choosing what can be um, what can be controlled and what cannot be controlled is so important because it can save a lot of time it can save a lot of energy both of them are so important and more than that I think it it also gives us a bit of a peace because when our plans don't work or things don't work according to the way we have thought then we feel disappointed however we don't uh, usually see the bigger picture I know this is going quite philosophical and in fact I have read this in uh, in a non-fiction book called the daily stoic by Ryan Holiday um, my, many of you might have actually uh, like seen um, this book because it's it's a really good I would recommend it however coming back to the topic even in that book um, like 
toward in this in the very beginning of that book the author also talks about um, really understanding what is in our control and what is not and this is something which is um, not that easy to attain and I can't say that I am a perfectionist at that level um, but even giving yourself a thought of um, like taking instances when you can try to categorize whether something is in your control or not this will help you a lot so I just wanted to share this one big lesson and in case you have um, more questions about PhD thesis submission process or more questions in general about PhD just let me know and I wanted to let you guys know that I'm also on top mate so if you guys want some one-to-one -one consultations I'm available there we can have some one-to-one -one consultations uh, however uh, there's a bit of a um, cost involved there so see for yourself what fits and uh, apart from that I'm always here uh, trying to connect um, what I learn and try to share uh, what I learn with you all because I want it to be a very transparent process to make this information uh, accessible to everyone and yeah just uh, make life um, more purposeful thank you for watching and thank you for staying along and yeah all in all have a wonderful day just recording this on a saturday i don't know i just love coming to this place it's a lovely place to work see you guys have a lovely day